We're back, STEM students, here in our General Physics 1. This is still Mr. Ferman L. Maninang, your physics teacher. Week 2 pa rin tayo ng quarter 1 na activity sheet entitled Plotting Ticker Tape Result DT Graph. Pero ngayon, ang pag-uusapan natin ay motion 2. Number 1. Cut the paper strip ticker tape results for motion 2. Number 2. Mark every 5 dots in the ticker tape result. Every dot corresponds 0 0.02 seconds time interval. So kung papansin nyo, yung procedure halos pares lang na nauna. Ano ang naiba ngayon? Ang strip for motion 2 is these 3 strips. So kung papansin nyo, iba na ang itsura niya kumpara sa motion 1. May nagbabago sa distance between the dots. So, we are just assuming that the motion is to the right. Okay, and then you will connect this strip B to the end of strip A. So, left going to right and then you will connect B. And then at the end of B, you will connect C. Number three. Label each mark with 1, 2, 3, and so on. Cut, st cut the strips on the marks to make several strips. Make sure that they are arranged from lowest label to highest label. Paste the strips vertical as shown to the right. So, kapapansin nyo, tulad ng una activity, sa upper right corner magsisimula yung susunod na strip. So, ito yung strip natin. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, may mark. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. May mark ulit. And then, meron nakadikit dito. So, we'll, you, we will count 5 again. So, and so on yan. Kung ilan yung abutin nyo. So, this is our strip 1. So, huwag kalimutan. Dapat nakalabel. Lalo na ngayon dahil iba-iba na ang strip natin. 2 and Three. Hindi ganito ka IC yan. Ha? May nakadikit yan dyan. Okay. And then this is our strip 1. This is our strip 2. And so on. Kasi marami-rami yung kakailanganin natin. So, pag dinikit natin yan, ganito ang itsura niya. So ito yung strip na may IC. Yung 1. And then 2. 3. And then 4. So adjust nyo na lang. Kasi kung bibilangin nyo yung mga dots nyan, it's more than 5. 5 dots lang ang kailangan natin. Number 6. Measure the length of the individual strips and fill up the table on the right side. So, papansin nyo kasi iba-iba na yung kanilang mga length. So, here for strip 1, we'll place the measurement here in centimeters. And then for strip 2, we will place the measurement here. And so on. So, ilang strips yung mabuo nyo. Number 7, determine the time for each strip by multiplying 0 0.02 second to the number of dots within the strips. So, kung papansin nyo, lima yung dots within the strip, multiplying it to 0 0.02, you will have 0 0.1. And since pare-parehas naman silang lima-limang dots, pare-parehas lang ang makukuha natin time interval here, which is 0 0.1 second. So, yan kasi gagamitin mo multiplier. Then, number 8, determine the speed by dividing distance and time for each strip. So, this is our distance for strip 1. Divided by the time, you will get the speed in strip 1. For strip 2, distance in centimeters divided by the time, you will have the speed for strip 2. And so on. So, Again, kung medyo nalito tayo or meron tayo na skip, pwede nyo balik-balikan yung procedure to guide you. So, for question number 3, what can be said on the distance between the dots in motion 2 strip? So, kung papansin nyo, iba na siya sa motion 1. Was it same distances, increasing distances, or decreasing distances? Number 4. 
What can be said in the motion of the object in motion two strips? Explain your basis. Was it at rest, constant speed, increasing speed, or decreasing speed? So for motion three, watch my next video. I hope you enjoyed learning in general physics. Kalma lang.